Hi, welcome to this how-to video from Catalator.com. We're going to show you how to get some gear shapes and import them into Tinkercad for doing something like 3D printing. There are lots of useful tools out there on the internet for creating gear shapes. We're going to use GearGenerator.com, which is a very useful site for experimenting with lots of different gear designs. GearGenerator.com allows you to change a lot of different properties about a gear train that you can design. So we're just going to look at changing one gear here. I can select a gear and play with the number of teeth. I'm reducing or increasing the number of teeth, which changes the radius. When I'm happy with the gear that I've designed, I can select Download SVG. And that downloads a file describing the gear shape onto the downloads folder of my hard drive. In order to be able to use the SVG file I just saved from GearGenerator.com, I need to transfer it through a program called Inkscape to clean it up a little bit before I can import it into Tinkercad. I start up a new document in Inkscape and I select File, import, select the file I just saved, and now here it is. I put it in the middle of my document window. I want to go up to Object, select Ungroup, and now I've got a whole bunch of different parts here in this file. I want to get rid of some of these circles, so I just click on them, select them, hit the Delete key, and get rid of all of the extraneous information till I just have my gear. I can select it and change the fill. So I want to turn off fill and turn on stroke just so I can see the outline of the file. Now I can select File, Save As, and this is very important, I want to save it as an optimized SVG file. So I'm going to call it Gear and set save and select all of the defaults. I'm now going to use Tinkercad to make that uh, gear file into a three-dimensional object that I can use for 3D printing. So I start up a new file in Tinkercad. I select import, choose a file, go to my downloads folder and select the SVG file that we just cleaned up from Inkscape, select Open, and then Import. Tinkercad now starts the process of importing the file. Brings it in, and now we see we have a three-dimensional gear that we can make thicker or thinner, depending on what we want to do. Now, one of the things that we usually need in for a gear is to have a hole in the center to put a shaft in there. So we can select a cylinder, and then to get it aligned with the middle, we select the cylinder, hold down the shift key, select the gear, and then we want to select a line, and we choose these middle circles here until we have got the shaft aligned with the center of the gear. Now, we might want to group those together, so that shaft is part of the gear, or, if we ungroup them again, I can select that uh, center cylinder, I can make it a hole, and now when I go and group these together, it will cut the middle out of the gear, and we can go ahead and 3D print that. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video useful. You can find out more information about what we do at our Facebook page, on our Instagram feed and our Pinterest page. There's lots of cool pictures and interesting projects for you to see there. Thanks and see you soon.